relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I God don't damn, he's little. But Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, I'll do whatever I choose to do. How about that? Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Sure, yeah, I'm totally buying it. And the lamps broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Alright, let's keep looking around. Find some more evidence that he's full of shit. Up oh, here we are. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Not full me, Toad. Too smart if for you. you gonna say something, out with it. Yeah, the lamp was here. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Because of the dust mark. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Let's see, what else can I go and find? I will examine that in a minute. What have we here, huh? There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. I thought you said the door was busted. Scared Junior off to death. <sighs> you heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? You wouldn't need keys, because the drawer's busted. Keys. Since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. Of course you did. You else, it's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Okay, yeah, we got a fire poker. What's going on with this, huh? A bloody fire poker. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. 
And the blood stain on the wall. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Yeah. How'd you get blood there if you cut your foot, huh? Still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me out. You didn't tell me that you did your foot. Like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, yeah, mate? You said you really? cut your foot. Boy, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my God, Come on, dude, like just spill the beans. Out of this. There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you called me here. I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. Oh, you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you, honest. Oh, if only I believed you. Bigby, come on! I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Don't think I can do that. I'm trying to do my job. Not yet. No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody own. Just tell me it's the truth, dude, and I'll leave. Seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? The actual truth. I cut me end. I broke the lamp. I forgot my key, so I climbed the sill. There's no more story to tell, mate. Only I believe you. These but I'm not an idiot. Have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Not really. Oh, there we go. That's progress. <laughs> Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Spill them beans, boy. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle. Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. This dude had more important merits to going on. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Yeah, what are you looking for, huh? What are you looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. 
If she has next of kin, family, anyone. No, you know she has family. We just were at his house. <laughs> Fine bit of dress it is. Dude, that thing's hideous. What are you talking about? Wait. A letter hidden in the hood? Mysterious object. It's a letter, clearly. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? It's not ours. Doesn't seem He's still like alive, too. So we won't do it. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Bye, Clementine. Talk to you Don't later. Don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. You don't want to tell me where that is? Does it always go that smooth? Not always. Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I mean, we could always try finding out where the Tweedles live, but... I guess we're just laser focused on the woodman right now, huh? time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. Shall we hope? I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? Her pimp. I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Awkward ass car ride. Thanks for your help. Thanks I for wish you. Oh. I was... Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than Oh boy, this, this episode needs to hurry up. I'm getting, so much attention to I'm getting really tired. You forget there's a whole community. Oh, hang on, let me sit up in my chair a bit. To have to turn to prostitution. Oh, I wish there was more we could do. She was a royalty too. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just... 
just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Oh, my chair's so loud. I'm sorry if you guys can hear it. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. I'm just trying to do better. It's how it goes, right? It You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. The trip trap. Where a large portion of this game takes place. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Bigby. I like how you can see at times where they're reusing models. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Well, I'm always careful. Always. Alright, let's go in there and ask some questions. Hello. Ah, it's you again. What do you want, Sheriff? Uh, I was in the neighborhood. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Awfully rude, ain't you? I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? You know who. So try again. And I don't mean Voldemort. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Uh-huh, uh... Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Bigby. Fuck off. You wanna play that game? Really? Cause I can get mean. I can get big and bad. You don't want that though, believe me. So tell me, if you don't know if he's been here, why are you in a picture with him? He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. You're in the picture with him. Whose is that? Someone who left. Haven't dumped it yet? Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, Feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it. But I'm good at picking up on this stuff. It doesn't help that it's like horrifically obvious. 